Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to my first YouTube video on the channel. And in this YouTube video, I will be showing y'all how to make your own sniper practice map. So first you want to open up your phone, go to galleries, and then pick like the color of walls and floors you want. So I picked this green one. You want to grab like a wall and then go onto a mountain. And make sure you pick an island that has like a mountain that's like not too big and not too small. Like this is perfect. And just like make like a box like how I'm doing right here. Make sure it has like space enough for like 16 players to spawn so, so i'm adding the walls right now make sure you add the floor too the color you pick so as you see i have like um, more than 16 blocks here for spawn points so you actually want to delete this whole side like one side that's um facing like off the mountain like right here so this is gonna be the part where you like stand and this is like for far range sniping and then right here you want to like open this and then we're going to add stairs that go down here for like close range sniping. So make sure you have like two holes like that. And then you want to go to devices and then get a bunch of player spawns and then place them. You only need to place 16. So now that you have that you want to grab a floor. Place it right here and then go to devices again and then scroll down and then get a barrier not the damage volume you want to get the barrier place it down and then just follow the same aim settings as I put it make it invisible base visible during game no and this next part it depends on what's the size of your room so like I'm gonna try six it's like a little bit too long so I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller let's try five yeah, five is perfect. Just like make it the same size as your room. And then the height, um, just like make it the same size. Oh yeah, we're gonna make this room like two stories high, by the way. So yeah, that's pretty good. And then the one setting that you have to have is block weapon fire, it should be no. So yeah, you got the barrier so people just don't jump off the map. So that's the barrier for this side. Now we're going to make the rest of this room. So I'm done with the roof. Now you want to grab like ramps. And then go to that one hole you made earlier. And then you want to like make ramps. Like this ice thing is in my way. But this is just an example of what I'm making. But you want to make like go off the mountain to the bottom. So like that's good. Then you want to grab like more floors and then you're making another room like the one on top but on the bottom. We're going to make the barrier and everything on there. So I just finished adding the walls. We're going to make this two stories high as well but we're going to do that after. So I'm going to grab like that same floor and then place it on the bottom right here. And then we're going to go to devices get a barrier. And then same settings but only like the like the shape of the like the length and stuff is going to be different um block weapon fire off and then this is three more than that let's try five all right that's good and then height four no three three so yeah the height should always just be three and then yeah, you're done with the barrier part. So I made the room. So as you see, um, we just have this ramp here. Some people are just going to fall off and then they're just going to ruin the game for everyone, right? So we got to add like walls on the outside too. So you want to just add walls like this and then add a roof over it. So I added the roofs and walls. But as you see, this takes so long to go up and down. So what we want to do is go to devices. Then we want to grab the this whatever it's called and put it down and then this is going to make it faster to go down and up um for this you just can like play around with the settings and make your own speed and stuff it depends how long your ramp is but i'm just gonna leave it like this because this is just an example but yeah so now for like the weapons we want to like for this part just go outside you can literally do this on top of the ramp i'm gonna do it right here but you want to go to devices again pick this the team settings and inventory pick that then just like place it somewhere outside of the like view of players then now you want to go into your 
weapons and pick um snipers that you want like in your map um and then drop them into your or like the extra stuff that you place down this is the part where you could delete them so after you destroy that now you need to get your targets so you want to go back to the creative phone thing and then you want to go to devices so there's like different targets you could pick i'm gonna pick all three of them but um you y'all can like choose any so one of them is these sentries or however you pronounce it i'm just gonna pick 10 of those and then the shooting range gallery gallery that's like the main thing and then the creature spawner so i just placed the target range props and um i'm just gonna like I usually just pick a few of them and I always pick these moving side to side ones and what I do is just like spam them around the area like the sentries just go place them around you can't see them before the game starts so once you start the game they will actually spawn but it's your spawner so I'm gonna place them around the area too so once I start game there's gonna be zombies stuff like that it's not perfect but um I'm gonna just start game to see w um, what we have so far. So everything spawned at my guns. So as you see, I can't just jump off. So I spawned upstairs. So I'm gonna go downstairs to show y'all. As you see, I could go down a lot faster with these. And I can't get out. For this, it's like close range. So I can snipe from closer if I'm not as good. But if I'm like, like a pro at sniping, even though I'm not. I, I could go like up here and go for far range snipes, you could go for no scopes and anything. Just settings on your targets too. But that's all your choice. And there's a setting for the zombie spawner where no one could destroy it. As you see I could literally just destroy it now and zombies will stop spawning. But I would just like make it so you can destroy it. Next clip is just gonna be me doing the settings of the map the island settings so y'all can look at that and just copy the settings i'll put wish out on all um i'll put this on this spawn limit infinite even though you don't really die four rounds win time only none you can have one friend on this somehow and then you, you want to be stable um you can make it um you have to like get a certain amount of el eliminations on the zombies and stuff and then the game will end but you don't have to do that if you don't want to make the spawn spawn pads yes um you should put this one off and then Yes. You can like make scores and stuff. You should just put it on one for one kill. This you can choose whatever, like these stuff. It don't really matter. You're just messing it up. But you can have like, you can be invincible to be honest. Because you can't really die in this game. This is just for practice. Make sure you have infinite ammo on or you'll just run out of ammo. Make sure you have resources off because you don't build in this. Um, while building, none. And then that's like everything to be honest. You should have allow item drop on no so people just don't drop their snipers. Respawn on one so you spawn ASAP. And then this doesn't really matter. Fall damage off, gravity normal. Or you can make it like a low maybe if people want to go for no scopes. Jump to feed off, blood report off, and then yeah, you know, this doesn't really matter, you can literally make it always high because y'all are like so close to each other. But these are like the main settings, and now I'm gonna start a game to show you. Yo, my game is gonna look weird, yeah, because I did the weird filters. This actually looks cool, to be honest. Um, but yeah, you could practice sniping. Um, if you're like not so good, you could like get better and be a pro. But yeah, this was my first YouTube video. Thank y'all so much for watching. And if y'all want an example of a sni um, sniper practice map, I literally made one like an actual good one, not this one. Like an actual good one. The code of the map will be in the description. But yeah, subscribe to me. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.